Hello everyone, this is Imran Ali here and today we are going to talk about what is Bitwarden and what Bitwarden provides you to their customers and why it is trusted by millions of users. So what is Bitwarden? Bitwarden is a password manager app or you can say it's a website also. It also available on iOS, Android and Windows and I guess on Mac too. So what we get here that there are a lot of features like for your personal reasons and for your personal businesses you can do that if you click on personal you will find that what like what it can provide you you can see that uh, you can save time you can autofill forms use biometrics it also provide biometrics uh, use strong password like it will provide you take control and stay alert okay so it's it's just all the features that they will provide you like accordingly your businesses and your personal use so what are we going to do right now there's uh, like for the beginning tutorial I'm just gonna explain uh, what's going on in the website so if you want to start from like uh, from the scratch like if you haven't used it before so you can just click on here like get started today or just log in with your email I'm just gonna log in and here we are this is the dashboard this is where you will land after signing in sign sign in uh, like a uh, the process of signing in is very simple so it's not that headache so moving on like uh, on the left side you will find that this is my vault vault items like uh, if uh, like if i want to add some application uh, or website vaults or app passwords i could manage over here i will tell you everything later but right now i'm just going to explain on the left side what is going on over here like uh, you can see the organization you can add organization with the organization name and billing email you can choose plans accordingly i will come this uh, i will come to this later and uh, you can see all items over here like ob obviously if you create something over here you will find multiple like all items over here you can favorite it trash it uh there are multiple types which you can do for your uh vaulted items like uh, you can add login items like facebook or different websites like zapier and uh, you can go with the card like visiting card sorry not visiting card like mastercard or visa card uh identity card and secure notes you can also create notes over here and send it to like to someone if you want and you can create folders accordingly like if you want to create folders for university you can just click on it save a name and add those items on it in like uh that university folder if you go uh, like above you can see that we are at walls we if we go at send you will find that we can send text file and uh, a file uh, accordingly so we just click on create new send and we can do that also over here you can see in the tools menu like uh, it's a generator like uh, what password you can use so it will regenerate your password if you want like you can also get it from here you can import data you can export vault so yeah these are reports like uh, identify and close security gaps in your online account by clicking the reports below so these are like unsecure website inactive two-step login data breach so you can do that too but it's not like not necessary if you are using this for your personal use you know so like in my opinion i don't use that usually so what are we going to do right now like uh, we are going to add something over here like uh, we can choose any type from here like if i want to add card i could do that like uh, we can go with the login we can name it we can choose folder if we have created we can like directly put that in username password uh tot totp authentic authenticator key so what is uh totp is like a uh, obviously it's a perfectly safe option and it protects user passwords with 256 bit aes encryption what it is like which makes it basically impossible for hackers to access the data on like uh, bitwarden servers so you can also use that option if you want obviously it's a premium feature as you can see over here we will go to the pricing later and uh, you can add url like uh, instagram or like gmail url you can add that here you can add uh new nodes over here and you can add custom fields if you want like a uh, name value or text hidden boolean so it's on you master password reprompt if you want that you can do that or save it then 
it will add everything over here accordingly like card identity secure note if you want or login so you will find everything over here so how will you apply this to different website this is the uh, big option uh, so this is the big question which we need to know so what we need to do now that uh, we need to go on in a new tab and uh, search chrome extensions chrome web store click on it and you will end up over here search here bitwarden you will find bitwarden on the top click on it add to chrome add extension so bitwarden extension has been added so let's just suppose like i have opened like this is the uh, facebook all right so wait i guess so we have opened facebook all right so uh, what uh, like just suppose like in the words area we have added uh, Facebook details and a password also so if we come here and we want to apply that what we need to do like this is the extension option like all of your extension will be over here for Google so if you click on it you can find that uh, Bitwarden free password over here click on it you will log in with your uh, ID which you have like created for Bitwarden I'm just gonna log in when it's done wait uh i'm human yes obviously i'm gonna log in again when it's done you will end up over here and what you will find like click on wall and you will find facebook and other like if you have added for instagram zapier and everything else uh, so you will find uh every password over here just click on it and it will apply automatically over here and click on login so it's very like uh, three steps like three clicks you will find it one two click on it and three it will apply so just click on login so it's uh, it's not like a uh, very high tier. it's just one time like uh, written over here and uh, you will apply that to every single platform like three clicks so yeah it's very easy process and uh, for the beginning tutorial i guess it's enough so right now i'm going to like uh, in the settings what is going on in settings you will find that this is uh, my account my email my password my new about obviously my account and uh, preferences subscriptions and uh, you can add a visa card mastercard and multiple different cards like union pay and uh, this preferences like uh, customize your web world experience you can go with that too so these are the things like a uh, you can do for your like bitwarden and obviously you can go with the dark theme if you want so you can do that too and uh, that's it this is all you need to know about it but uh, the last thing is pricing so i'm just going to show you what are the prices for uh, different prices they will they provide for their customers so as you can see over here it's a business based uh, plan and uh, you can see that three dollar per month per user so share private data safely with your co-worker across departments or on the entire company so you can go with that and you can start also a free trial obviously which we were using and uh, you can go with the five dollar per month and obviously it will provide multiple options over here like you can see advanced functionalities including enterprise policy sso integration admin password reset and more so you will find multiple over multiple things over here and if you go with the personal one we were using this one like zero unlimited password unlimited devices all the core functions it's totally free so you can go with the less than one dollar if you want to do that you can do that for per month and you can go with the four dollar per month and it for your all family logins six premium accounts unlimited sharing so these are the pricing for uh bitwarden and it's not that bad i guess so you can see there are multiple features uh they are showing that what you can get accordingly and uh, if we go back i think we can find for business too right so i hope you understand what i've tried to say this is the beginning tutorial obviously and i have tried to cover every single thing like how you can apply passwords in the world and how you can apply that to your websites so yeah thank you for watching this video i hope uh, it helps you a lot and bye bye